Hello everyone, this is BJLZ32 back again, and it's time for another review. This is the Bicycle Deco from Incarded, and once again, awesome. This is their third deck, and I get to be disappointed, and I don't think that I will be anytime soon. Uh, this one came in, there's a, a set, a bronze and a silver, or it's from Kickstarter. You can get them on the website now, I believe, I'm not sure how many they have available. They only printed... 2,500 of each, so 5,000 total, <coughs> and so that's pretty rare, pretty limited, I shouldn't say rare, but pretty limited, and then they also had some first edition ones, because there was some printing issues with the box, originally they reprinted them, they kept some very rare first edition ones, I was not fortunate enough to get one of those, but oh well. So let's look at these boxes. The front says bicycle, the bottom says deco playing cards, and it's a nice looking box. Everything you see in writing is embossed in foil. It, there is no ink whatsoever on the box. It's all foil embossed. And you can actually see tiny, tiny details all over the box. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe you can see it better on the black and gold. You can see the details up here. It's almost hard to see. This one also has, again, it's hard to see. These lines basically continue in a much lighter color. <coughs> Pretty interesting. I just I just noticed that. I just saw that in the reflection light. It's like, hmm, weird. So the front of the box is that on the sides. Designed by Incarded, Paul Carpenter. Thumbs up. And if you are looking for anything from Incarded, I do have a code on my channel page in the uh, this, the uh, information page. We go to About. I think that's what it's called. Somewhere on my channel page in the information section, there is a link and you get 10% off your order. Maybe I'll post it down in the description as well. Anyways, the other side says Deco and it's got your Spade, Heart, Club, and Diamond Pip. And this one says Bronze, this one says Silver. The top says Made in the USA. I scratched this one a little bit when I opened it, unfortunately. The bottom has the encarded logo, which is a nice simple logo just featuring all four pips inside of a box. And you got some information, copyright stuff. <coughs> and in the back, you got, not the back design. You got spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And I guess I might have been a little bit wrong when I said there was absolutely no ink on there. Because you do have these details on here, and that is ink. And they look like scales on a fist. But yeah, you get, anyways, you got the spade, heart, common diamond pips. And uh, this one's the same thing. Bam. <coughs> On the flap, the details continue right around. And you got, again, metallic, or uh, foil, or trademark information instead of ink. The inside of the box is freaking foil is that awesome or what so i'll look at the silver one first you do get a, a card with information on in carded and it's signed by paul carpenter and then your back design which is nice simple deco style kind of looks like a pool table this one anyways with the green <laughs> and the corners and everything it, it definitely looks like a pool table with some art on it now that I look at that, but yeah, does it look like a pool table or what? Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, it looks awesome. You do get a blank card. <coughs> the borders are pretty thin, probably as much as it could do. One thing you'll notice about the faces is it does have that same texture as the box, 
with the scales on it like this but it's a little bit harder to see I think anyways Let me just find a couple of the cards. Alright. The Ace of Spades. Nice spade pip. Simple, clean. It says Deco. And carded custom playing cards. And it says Made USA, US Playing Card Company. And again, like I said, you got those details on there with these scales or whatever those are supposed to be. You do get your index, which is kind of standard, custom though, custom pip, custom index. And then you get this little index facing the other direction. Interesting. <coughs> um, the Jokers, again, kind of ele elegant looking, deco looking. This one features a woman in a... Mm, dress and something in her hair and it says Joker in the corners and Joker the other way and then the other Joker is a guy in a tuxedo again kind of classy looking mirror image pretty cool <coughs> uh, 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 uh. diamonds and hearts Again, it's metallic ink on these cards as well, it looks like. Uh, diamonds and hearts are in a teal type color, green almost. And yeah, I would say metallic ink. There's the ace of diamonds, there's your ace of hearts. And that's what the pips look like. So you have the ace of spades, which we looked at already. And then the ace of clubs. That's what all the pips look like. All the cards are fairly standard though, as you can see. Court cards, they do got some standard, a little standard look to them, but they got a quite different border and these details in the center, and then they got lots of teal and green colors in them. <coughs> and that's the spades and the clubs, hearts and diamonds, grayish colors. But the artwork is almost basically standard, but it's been modified a lot, as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing because I'm sick. The cards come in a very nice B stock and a Magic Finis, as do all encoded cards. Top of the line, awesomeness. Um, I want to show you this. That's what your nines look like, similar to the seven. Everything else is basically standard. That is that deck. We'll look at the other one kind of quickly. That's the silver one. This is the bronze one. Uh, black and bronze box inside. More foil. You do get the same ad card, except it's in a bronze face, colors in bronze. And there's your back design. Same thing, except it's all bronze in color. <coughs> and you can see those scale details are also on the back of the cards, not just the face. And it is like a dark brown or a bronze. Um, the back appears to be slightly darker than the faces. You do get a blank card as well. And everything else is the same. Clubs and spades are in a metallic silver color. Hearts and diamonds are in a reddish color. So a slight variation there. And then everything else, I mean, court cards, Jokers, Ace of Spades, Pips, Indexes, that is all the same. Oh, I chipped my card. Crap. 
That's the only problem with colored cards like that is they tip. And there's the Ace of Spades, same thing. <coughs> Overall, awesome decks. I thoroughly recommend them. And again, it was another good Kickstarter project that did not take that long, like some that just drag on forever and ever. Um, it would have been, we would have had these cards a couple months ago had there not been that issue and the delay to get them reprinted. So, if it wasn't for that, they would have been here on time. Took a little bit longer, but it was well worth the wait. Hmm, I see some slate. Whatever. Handles good. Spreads nice. Fans nice. Stuff feels great. And, I mean, it's good. It's a B stock, which is the best you can get. And a Magic Phoenix, which is the best you can get. So it's the best of both worlds. Makes for a very good deck. The art is nice. The colors are nice. The boxes are amazing. I like it. Check it out and I'll see you next time.